Okay, today we're gonna have a review on Legacy Drag Strip, and if the rest of the com uh, of the Stunticons are as good as this guy, then I think we might be getting the best combiner that we've gotten from Hasbro and Takara, just ever. Now, so let's take a look at the accessories. You get two pistols, so I'm not gonna be. I'm only gonna be covering one, and so it's like a sniper pistol. Uh, it's a reference to the original G1 toy. Um, it's painted purple, but it's cast in black plastic. It looks very nice. And you can actually connect them together, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. I'm not going to show that. But those are the only two accessories that it comes with. It doesn't come with any combiner stuff. That's just, that's it. Unlike Combiner Wars, where you... They came with stupid weapons, and they came with the combiner hands and feet. How does this guy look? He looks awesome. Uh, I wish, though, that they didn't really stick so close to the G1, because he looks very, very boring and bland. Um, but I do appreciate how they kind of changed it a little. With these little shoulder pieces. But I think that that's just because they don't have any other way. But I wish they added like maybe some silver down here. On the legs. I think that would have looked a lot better. But overall he looks very accurate. Um, the back. The backpack. Or lack thereof. Um, it at first threw me off. Because it was so flat. And just non-existent. But that's fine. Um articulation can he has can bend his fall all the way down but that's more for transformation he has a giant ankle tilt um can kick out that far kick back and you can also actually do the knee the other way as well that much kick out to the side like a high kick waist swivel 360 and rotate his arms 360 pull him out like that no butterfly joint arms go more than 30 i mean 90 but just barely um no wrist articulation head is on a ball joint but it's very limited looks like i think it's on a ball joint right yeah, I think that's a ball joint. Um, and then that's it for articulation. But you can get him to some pretty cool poses. My only complaint with the robot mode is that it looks a little bit too bland. I wish the head had more articulation. But we'll see if they had a compromise for the transformation. Which is actually pretty fun. So, to start off, you want to take away all the guns. If you haven't already. And what I do is I pop for the chest. Just pull this part out because it's on a double hinge. Fold in the head. And then you want to flip around the legs. And then close up the legs. Also fold up the feet. And close. So that's what the legs do. They just very quick, simple, fun. Now, now you want to flip the sides of the arms out. Flip the second tire. Fold out these little, I don't even know, like bumpers of the cars in front. And then you want to hook over the sides of the cars onto these, these little tabs right here. I don't know if you can see it. There's tabs right there. And so what you're going to want to do... Flip over the arm pieces. Then you fold down the chest after you rotated it. And then, boom, he is done. His car mode is complete. And the transformation was actually one of the finest transformations I've ever experienced. It was super quick, easy, and it made sense. Um... The car mode is very awesome. 
very clean. The only thing is that his head's right there, but they tried making like a car car seat. Which, okay. I guess. That's fine, I guess. Um, but when I first saw this, I then imagined how they could repaint this and retool this a little bit into Mirage. And now I just, I want to do, I want to buy another one of these and do a custom a Mirage. But not today, not today. Um, this vehicle mode, from what I can tell, is very accurate to the car he was in the cartoon. It rolls stupendously. You can attach the guns onto these little ports, which I don't know if you display your cards like that. I don't. And then, I think everyone's seen this at this point. How to combine it is you would slot him onto Manasaur's arm, and then there's a little slot right there, and you just that then you can remove it and now he's cosplaying his jazz this is a pretty clever way of how to combine but i do wish that they didn't go with just cars on a guy route more like combiner wars where they actually combined but since we're actually it seems that they're this is actually gonna be really good i don't mind anymore I do not mind overall thought is that if all the others Thanticons are as good as drag strip, then it seems that we're gonna have the best combiner currently in this year. Cause it seems that they're releasing all the Thanticons pretty quickly, and maybe by the end of this year we'll be able to get it all. That's my thoughts on Legacy Drag Strip. Uh, subscribe if you want more reviews, stop motions, or Lego customs and stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.